Today, I will be talking about why I do not believe Jesus is God. All praises are due to Allah, Subhana wa ta'ala. He has given me a sound mind. And it doesn't make sense that Jesus is God. Now, I'm just going to talk to you. Just have dialogue. Why I do not believe Jesus is God is because in Islam, we do not call him son of God. We do not call him son, although we know that we are all sons in a sense as chosen. We know that Israel was called a son. Isaiah was called a son and so forth. So in that sense, you know, we are all sons as chosen, but not literal. We know that God doesn't have any sons, literally, and you can't give him a son. But just in a son sense, why would a son be God when he has a father? That just don't make sense in my mind. He's given us too many stories in the Bible where we had sons try to take over their father's kingdom. And majority of Christians do not know the stories of Adonijah and Absalom. And these were sons of David. And they tried to take over their father's kingdom. And they were not successful. They were not successful. And for those who know scripture, you'll know that Absalom literally tried to take his father's kingdom. He slept with his father's wives and metaphorically, that's going into he had his father's churches. He screwed up his father's house. Um. Because women represents kingdoms in the Bible. I mean, even Paul likened a bride to the church. So Absalom, he had a counselor who was formerly David's counselor. And his name was Ahithopel. Now Ahithopel, he had so much good advice that the Bible literally says it was like the oracle of God. His counsel was as if it was the oracle of God. And I believe that Ahithopel was actually a picture of Apostle Paul. And that's the reason why it's so hard right now dealing with Christianity. It's all because of Paul. It's all because of his teachings. It's all because of his letters. And his letters are as if they are oracles of God, but they're not. They're not. They're totally the opposite um, on the major core values of God's teachings. And so getting back on subject, you know, I get excited, man. I'll, I'll go all over. But yeah, getting back to the topic. Why I don't believe Jesus is God is because there's been too many people um, preaching this. And the more people preach it, the more it doesn't make sense to me. How is God going to allow his son to take over his kingdom if he's still alive? Now, I understand if the father died and then the son came and took his place, but the father is still alive. You know, in my mind, if I was to go to heaven right now and I was to see Jesus and if I was to see my father, would I be confused in which one is really the king? No. I know for a fact that God is king. And that's how 
I look at him. Now, my faith is so strong to the point that even if the Bible in the New Testament said Jesus is God, everybody needs to worship him, I still would have a problem with that. I would look at that as a contradiction and I wouldn't believe it because according to the Bible and according to Isaiah specifically, God lets you know that he doesn't share his glory with no one and there's no God beside him. So in my mind, it still would make sense. Even if we had scriptures saying Jesus is God, I would disagree with it. Now, we have no scriptures in the New Testament where Jesus says verbatim, I am God, worship me. And right there should be enough for everybody else to understand that Jesus is not God. And this is one of the main reasons why in Quran 5, 116, it gives a confession. Jesus has a confession, <laughs> a confession. And he literally is asked, did you tell the people to worship you? Did you tell the people to worship your mother? And Jesus will say glory to you. You know, how could I say what I have no right? If I would have said it, you would have known. And, you know, he basically delivers himself, you know. And I learned that the Old Testament and the Quran is in agreement. Because in the Old Testament, can't nobody save you. Only you can save you. And that's what the Quran brings back, that reality of the Old Testament, that you are going to be held accountable for your sins. Ain't nobody going to save you. Only you are going to be able to save yourself by your good works and God's mercy if you are able to make it in. OK, and that's one thing I respect about um, Islam is because in Christianity, they just say, oh, you're going to heaven. and They just make everything so easy. It's nothing but a blind faith. And the Quran. Now I'm learning that I have no right to say things that I don't know. And so Jannah is something that only Allah could permit me to come in and it's kind of like the same um, teachings in the book of James when it talks about um, you going to sit down in a seat and then someone having to tell you hey get up it's better for you to humble yourself and then for somebody to say hey come up here and sit here and that's what I think about far as eternal security is better to just leave all that up to the most high not for me to be so sure i'ma make it okay because only he can judge that getting back to why i don't believe jesus is god and i'm not gonna pull the bible out or nothing but this is something that can help you it's in john 840 and Jesus literally says I am a man that has told you the truth now in my mind if Jesus was God then he was lying right there because if he's calling himself a man he can't be calling himself a God and one thing I learned about Christianity Christianity is the king of explaining. If you have dialogue with them, you'll notice that they explain or they'll try to tell you what each verse means. Rather than having actual scripture, all they have is interpretation. And everybody has a right to interpretation. Okay, everybody has a right to interpret something the way they want to interpret but in verse 40, he literally says, I am a man that has told you the truth. Okay, so you, you can't get around that. And another precept would be Acts 2.22, where Peter says Jesus was a man appointed or approved by God. And 
he did those miracles only because of God working through him. Other reasons why Jesus can't be God. Because Jesus said that we are all gods. And in Psalms 82, he said, all of you are gods, but you shall die like men. And the other thing that is confusing about Christianity, Moses wasn't killed. Moses died naturally. In my mind, I don't get how another person could kill God. That just don't make sense. And I don't believe he was killed. But I know for a fact, according to the Quran, that Jesus will die. And in my mind, God is eternal. He's untouchable by death. And he can't die. So when you have a sound mind, like I always say, the Christianity... um, Religion, it has no logic. In the Quran, there's logic. You can just think and, and, and use logic. Why would God have a son? He doesn't have a wife. How would he have a son? Okay. And it's the same thing with Adam. God literally spoke Adam into existence. And so there are more things I can keep going about why I do not believe Jesus is God. He talked about his father too much. He talked about his father too much. And the problem with Christians is they misinterpret scriptures like I and my father is one. That doesn't mean you're God. Okay. I can be one with my nation. I could be one with my wife. I could be one with a lot of different things. I can be one with my company. It doesn't mean I'm the CEO with of the company. So when you have a sound mind, you're able to use logic. And then there's no fear of death because... Every day, I'm doing my best to live a life that's pleasing to the Most High. And so, I don't need no Jesus died for my sins fire insurance. And I don't have to move out of fear. Because fear is not knowing. That's all fear is not knowing. And when you study, the more you study, the more you know. And according to the Bible, I know that if I just continue to do the right thing and I continue to glorify him as best as I can, I believe, notice I said I believe, doesn't make it, doesn't, doesn't make it true, I believe that I will be all right. I have no fear of the future. Long as I keep doing what I believe is right, then I know that when judgment day comes, he is not going to be unmindful to forget everything that I've done for him. Jesus is not God simply because he's called the son too much. He's always called the son. And so, in my mind, my mind's like, well, he can't be the father. He can't be the father. And I think about how Jesus was human, how he wept, how he defecated. I'm sure he did. Um, How he got thirsty and he got hungry. And we know that the Bible says God doesn't slumber. He doesn't sleep. He he doesn't get tired. he He doesn't get thirsty. So there's just way too many clear contradictions with that. And people that do believe Jesus is God, it's so hard to bond with them because they are the type of people, in my mind, to me, 
that you would be friends with them and then all of a sudden they'll say skip you and just be best friends with your son. Locking you out of the whole equation. And that's what I believe that Christians do to the Father. Every time I talk to a Christian, I just let them talk. And it's Jesus, 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 everything. And you'll see that the Father is missing from their life. And they don't even realize how offensive they are by constantly talking about his creation. Rather than the creator. And those are just um, my beliefs. Why I believe Jesus is not God. And if you want in the comments. You can type in the comments. Why you don't believe Jesus is God. Just let someone know why you don't believe Jesus is God. All right. I've seen too many stories in the Bible that just lets me know how God feels when you honor a son above even your own creator. I look at the story of Eli and how Eli was in trouble with God because instead of killing his Sons, like the law demands, if they're wicked, he kept letting them live. And they caused the sacrifice of the Lord to be hated. They was doing so many things that was against the law. And Eli just gave them words and no action. He didn't correct them. And God says something. And it's in 1 Samuel 2.29. Why are you honoring your sons above me? And I know that God doesn't change. So in my mind today, I can only imagine how God the Father feels. And... I looked at the story of Samson and how his eyes was taken out. And I think about Jesus, if he's able, and I believe he's able to see everybody worshiping the creature more than the creator. And I believe that zeal is going to come upon him when he returns. And he's going to destroy this man-made religion called Christianity. I can only imagine how the father feels, man. It's, it's sad. And I'm just a human being. And I talk to a lot of people. And every time we talk about spiritual things, all I hear is Jesus. I don't even hear God sometimes. And it's sickening. It is. So leave a comment on this video why you don't believe Jesus is God. We got too many videos and too many people saying Jesus is God. So this video is dedicated for those who don't believe Jesus is God. All right. With that being said. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers in the truth and all praises is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace